Welcome to Maple Valley in the Powered by Ford Lotus. Now we're at the Vintage Le Mans Prototype Series to give it a little go, see what it's all about. And as we have a massively great start off the line, keep it to our left hand side. We're going to keep on the outside of this corner. I think everybody's going to go diving up the inside. So if we keep out, we're going to hopefully keep away from a lot of the contact. Sacrificing a few places in the mid turn but hopefully we'll be able to call them back in turn two as a car does go off track now this race is different in the sense of i think i may have upset a driver uh unintentionally and they pinned me into the wall but more on that as we go down the road coming out here absolutely flat out 150 miles per hour you'd be surprised really actually how fast these cars really kick up the speed compared to how long it takes them to slow down and how they have a, such a massive amount of lack of grip. Um, so you can really kick up the speed very quickly and then it's totally out of control. So you have to be quite gentle with your inputs and really just be gentle overall. It is very, very little grip from downforce or anything like that. So. When you're going through corners, you end up going like that GT40 went off track. Pretty sure that was a GT40. Correct me down below if I am wrong. I do have a car on my right side that is looking to make a move. Contact has been made, but ultimately they get through. So no harm, no foul, really. Although I think it was a little bit of my mistake there. The car was sliding over and we just came together. So... Um, Welcome to these cars that are like riding on an ice skating rink with rockets up your tailpipe. Coming down here, breaking down the third gear, going a little bit slow, holding on to that curb on the right hand side. I probably could have done with a few miles per hour faster, but again, like I say, these cars, the border window of hitting the right speed is very, very narrow, so you have very little room of getting it right or wrong, and it's just finding that right balance. As we're absolutely sending it up through here, already to 135, into fifth gear, 150, 155 almost there. And just letting it coast back down. And as we cross over the bridge, we'll be breaking early down in third gear and turning in for this corner. Again, like I say, the braking zone on these cars is not the best. Braking again at the second billboard anyway, because I do find this part of the track very gripping. We did catch up to Clad. Tomcat 21586 and they ultimately give a weird braking moment there coming up through this curve now and they absolutely pin me against the wall yeah that is the incident I'm talking about I have no idea why that person is very upset with their situation but yeah we lost that well two places because of that lost the place from them whilst also losing the place from Glacio 7476 and I don't think the penalty system even gave that other player a penalty so well well done the uh, penalty system you're working your magic today we're coming down here the uh, 4 GT40 slams into the wall and goes to the right so we got that position back cannot grumble but I am a bit dubious about catching up too closely to the car in front because Again, this car, the way it behaves uh, is a little funky. I don't want to be on the receiving end of Mr. Nutjob. I mean, we're doing quite well up to now. We're in position four, which you can't really grumble too much at. We don't have a penalty. Oh, so they did get a 2.35 second penalty. Um, that might be a contact one, or it could also be an off-track penalty. I'm not 100% sure. Either way... Party Coke is position one, 10 seconds away. That is quite the lead. I'm not too sure what the best car is for this race. I only picked the Lotus Power by Ford because apparently I already had it. So it saves me buying another car and I just picked it. And it's not too bad overall, really. It really does shift. Oh, this thing has great, great power. It, what it does really lack in is in the handling department. You see, there is a lot of slide in that car. Um, it could also be my tune. I have reduced the tire pressures quite somewhat, and I've made the car quite soft. I found it to be very firm, and it didn't seem to dig into the corners very well. So again, I made it quite soft and increased the bump stiffness and the rebound stiffness. So when I do go through dips and crevices, especially at the bottom of this hill here now, 
I don't bottom out and it is firm when I do hit the bottom and it doesn't bounce around, which unless I change that, it would be flopping everywhere. Again, I'm not the best tuner in the world, but it does get me by to an extent and it is a massive improvement from the base model, I can say that much. Coming around here, you can see the tire wear is almost on minor wear. I'm gonna do my best to stretch these tires out to last one more lap after this, and then we've had a 50-50 tire change. We are about to lap somebody, so I did believe there was 11 of us in the race total. I did see one quit, so there must have been more than one that's quitted that's gone under the radar and I have not seen. And you see the rear tires are now on minor wear, and the front tires really are not going to be that far behind. Lap 5, rear tires are absolutely gone. Front tires are on moderate wear, probably just holding on for dear life as we come around flopping around everywhere. Before we enter the pits, I'd like to take a moment out to thank our channel members, which is Andy Good, Jeffrey Anderson, DMC Motorsport, Sigmatic, Camo Kaleno, Daniel Adams, and John Burns. Thank you very much guys for support in the channel and if you're still here watching why not hit the subscribe button it's only one click away as you're coming up around here we'll catch up to glacio 7476 with a two second penalty i do believe they pitted one lap earlier so though their final lap is going to be absolutely dreadful for them or they're going to have to pit twice it's uh that's going to be a tough call to make i mean we did really stretch out that lap five so for them to keep going, uh, kudos to them. If they're gonna only do the one pit strategy, that is gonna be painful last lap. Coming around here, we are catching up to them very quickly, which does make me wonder where is best to overtake them. This track is, with these cars, not the easiest to overtake. There's no easy way of going about it besides really sticking your nose in and diving your way through which is pretty much what we end up doing as we're coming down here looking out for the second board on the right side breaking down the third gear turning in they go a little bit wide so i start looking up the inside ultimately back out as the door is closed coming over on the right hand side they are defending very very well maybe breaking a little bit too much through that section there but they are trying to create a gap from themselves towards me so i totally understand that coming around this corner now gonna look up the inside again but back off again because i know that door is going to be closed but sticking your nose in pulling them off that game is what you want to do you see me on the radar going yellow constantly yellow they know i'm there and i'm gonna send it through the inside now here holding on for dear life no idea how i got away with that move and no idea how i didn't even get to a off track or nothing like that but they did also end up going to the pit so it was sort of wasted defending if you get what i mean you know if you go into the pits anyway i'm gonna pass you aren't i <laughs> um yeah okay it's all a part of the fun isn't it really we are back again in position four 4.2 seconds away from position three which is quite the gap i was getting held up a little bit by the other car but I wonder if two laps, could I find that time back? Well, the answer is no, really, because I ended up really shredding my tires, just overdriving the car and making a few silly little mistakes that really did not need to be made. And then because I made mistakes, I'm further than more by making more mistakes to compensate for the mistakes I've already made. Yeah. <laughs> this is the best way of putting it you can see the tires are on the last legs position five is 20 seconds away so i'm not overly concerned i would, would have loved to be able to catch up to position three and uh it just wasn't meant to be for this race but we are going to head off to spa in the next race where i've got to be honest i turned into a penalty collector and you knew your day was going to be a bad day for racing when you first load up Forza Motorsport, the first race you join it crashes. So I already knew this day was going to be one of those lemon days as I go around the outside of Spa's first corner, down the hill we go, neck and neck to the cars on the right hand side. I did the world's biggest rookie move as well, as you can see I'm already topping out as we're going down this hill. Yeah, I sort of forgot to change the gear ratios from the last race. So my car tops out at um, 160 something miles per hour. It 
is close. Very close to 170, 173. Close to the limit. Could have done with a few more miles per hour down this section, but we've already gained a 0 0.3 second penalty. At least I am not alone because the car behind has got 0 0.4. Going around these corners now, having a better feel of this car. Again, it's not the fastest. I do think that silver car or grey car that is overtaken now, I'm not too sure that is. I think it's a Porsche. Either way, that car is very, very quick in a straight line. So, again, I know my tuning is great for acceleration, but that car still leaves me standing. Going down the section now, forgetting to change gear, miss shifting and sending it down this hill. Keeping up with the red car up in front and absolutely sending it off track because I've missed my braking zone. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Another penalty. Right, we're at 0 0.5 now. We are collecting. Oh, wow. Um, I haven't caught up to the person behind who has a four and a half second penalty. That's probably down to a contact incident. So I must uh, bear that in mind and try and keep away from any situations that may occur. Hopefully, though, with those three cars up in front, a situation may occur that I can capitalize upon that. As right now, we are in position five. We are doing at the better end of the spectrum of the penalties we're at 0 0.5 as the car in front is 0 0.7 and one behind as much much higher but again a zero penalties would have been a lot better as i go off track again i mean that's three times in one lap i haven't finished the first lap yet and i've got another 0 0.3 second penalty okay it's not going well it really isn't don't get me wrong the drive inside of it contact side of things spectacular you know it's just um sliding a little bit more than i would have liked is the best way of putting it coming around here now absolutely going to send it down this hill as we are on lap two hopefully the cars in front will make a big mess up and i can capitalize upon that because i'm going to go quite steady through this section and hopefully not go off track again Right, we've mastered that. We've got this down to a T, although we have lost a lot of time from the cars up in front. They are almost two seconds away. That is dreadful. Also, my engine is about to top out as I'm braking just before the 100 meter marker, just to ensure that I have enough braking zone as we're going through these corners now. You see, the cars up in front are battling quite heavily. Which is only good news for us because they're not going to be able to claw away from us that easily as they are battling. Coming around the section now in second gear, rubbing our curb on the right side, start accelerating out of the corner, back over to the right side, into third, just a touch of the brakes to bring the car a bit more control and flat out down the section again. You're going to be looking out your left hand side for the curb to start. As soon as you spot that curb, start applying a bit of brake pressure down in fourth gear holding it round as soon as the green curb comes in on your left hand side start applying the throttle quite gracefully and down the section we go looking out for the curb on the left hand side braking just before the curb starts and then holding it through the section could have gone through the inside it would have been a little bit grippier for myself but um yeah i had a lot of understeer whilst braking I'm not running any ABS or traction control, so you may hear from time and time again some of the tyres locking up as we do apply the brake pressure. Going off track again by half a pixel and gaining a 1.1 second penalty. I didn't even gain 1.1 seconds of time. I was a half a pixel off. Going steadily through the section now and accelerating out the other side. Oh, we didn't get a penalty. So that is one penalty this lap i think it is if i got it correct one penalty this lap three the lap before one penalty this lap we are about to start lap three right oh by the way also at the end of this lap we're gonna to have to change our tires by the looks of it because they haven't gotten that much life on the left and it is quite a long track so it'd be perfect really because halfway through the race changing our tires Coming flat out on the section, position 6 is 4.8 seconds away. We are 2.3 seconds away from the cars up the front. Dropping a lot of speed as we go through here to make sure we don't go off track again. 2.43, oh, that's coming down quite heavily. That's, um, can't grumble at that. And they also have a one second penalty up in front. 
1.5 seconds away hopefully can maintain that and bouncing off the limiter there breaking down to third gear rub that curb on the right really go onto the blue on the left hand side and bring it back over to the left and then back over to the right and then flat out down here we go as soon as the curb starts again the left hand side hard on the brakes down to second gear trying to get as close to that curb on the right hand side as you can I start applying the power gracefully gently sorry as we come around these corners now and then full throttle it down this hill as soon as you see the curb starting on the left hand side that's when you're going to start applying the braking pressure down to third gear having a beautiful slide through the section holding on for dear life because i didn't know where that slide was going to go <laughs> and then away we go back over to the left hand side a braking just at the gantry which is just before the curb starts down the third gear and taking these corners much much better but we did lose a lot of time thanks to that beautiful slide so if you think that beautiful slide was worth it to, to lose that kind of time hit the like button that would be much appreciated coming around here now accelerating out the other side we have three tires on minor wear as we come out the pits for the start of lap four Heading into Radion, we do see the two cars up in front. So they're only 2.8 seconds away at this precise moment, which is not too bad overall. But, oh, hello, that is a crash right there. And another car is in the dirt. Oh, dear. Oh, that was very, very close. And Kraken's home is 0.5 seconds away behind me. We're position two at the moment, guys. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Now it's a kiss of holding it on in what is quite frankly not the fastest car for this race. There's no two ways about it. Whilst also being driven by an absolute plum of a driver, we can't seem to get this thing down to a T and has given up with it totally. <laughs> it's the best way of putting it. I was like looking at a tune, I was like, there's not much I can really think of that I can adjust. That's not going to send it absolutely loopy. And I, I gave up with it and I thought, you know, what, I'm just going to make what I've got work until something better comes along. <laughs> anyway, we are 1.9 seconds worth of penalty still, which is not too bad overall. Breaking at the crane or the gantry, sorry, down the third gear and coming around this section. Now, I do believe we are holding up Kraken's home behind. So as we're coming along here, I'm going to break, let them pass and then follow up behind. If anything, they can drag me along and go a little bit quicker. If nothing, then I'm just going to lose that position, which I was going to lose eventually anyway. As I go off track again by a pixel, I gain another 1.1 seconds worth of penalties. Literally, it was like one of my tyres were in the OK zone and three of the tyres were not. And some of the problem was due to the slide and some of the problem was obviously driver error. Breaking onto the dirt right now, absolutely lose total control of this vehicle and gain another 0.6 seconds worth of penalties. Oh dear me, I think this is the, one of the worst penalty races I've had, like the amount I've had. The, like, you know, when we had 3.6 seconds at the moment, well, I've gained quite a few of them along the way. I think this has got to be my worst race ever. Yet one of the cleanest races ever. Work that one out. So yeah, it was certainly wasn't a day for me to drive. There's no two ways about that. Breaking heavily through the section now. Hopefully not going off track again and absolutely sending it off track. Guess what? 0 0.1. <laughs> oh dear me, the Forza stewards were not impressed with my driving today. As I'm breaking that 100 meter board down the third gear. Rub that curb on the right, over onto the blue on the left, keeping it over on the left hand side, and then bring it back over to your right. Sending it down this hill, looking for the curb on the left hand side, hard on the brakes, down to second gear and turning in. Thankfully we are, what, 2.93 seconds away from, nice try there bud, in position 5. But we are also 2.2 seconds away from the car in front. Ah, oh, gone off track again. Oh, look at that. No penalty. Have they given up giving them to me now? Oh, we are 5.4 seconds. Oh, no, sorry. Take that back. 
Ren Rezen Zone in position three has a 5.4 worth of penalties. So if I plan this out right, I've only got one more lap after this to go. If I can try a little harder, stay on track this time, not occur any more penalties, I might actually be in for a chance to be on podium. Uh, it's a very small chance, but it's a chance nonetheless. Lap six. Ray Rezen Zone has a 6.3 seconds worth of penalties. Whilst we are 3.7 seconds away, we had a little moment where we lost a little bit of time. But hopefully on this lap with their tyres not being in as good condition as mine because they were obviously pushing a lot harder than I was. I might actually be in for a chance of catching them up four seconds away, bringing it back down to 3.9. Position 5 is 10.5 seconds away. So we are in a good chance of catching up to the car in front. And you can see we have knocked another tenth off and uh, lost it again. But through these sections of the track, hopefully a bit better car control and a bit more speed and management. I should be in for a chance here. Going really wide. Ah, oh, just a pixel over. Or 0 0.5. Oh, so close to not getting one then as well. Just a pixel or two over. Absolutely brutal. We're still in for a chance though, because if I can bring the time back down to two seconds, then that is my barrier. I've got to holding a podium finish. Coming through the section now, keep on the curb, bring it over to the right, and then full sending it down here. Now, this is where I make most of mis my uh, mistakes, is the second part of the corner, and oh, actually the first part of the corner as well here. I usually go onto the green. There it is. I've done it again. Uh, oh, no penalty. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not going to grumble like that. Breaking at the 100, 200 meter board, sliding onto the dirt, down the first gear. Again, no penalty. 2.9, 2.7 seconds away. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can I do it? 2.4. Oh, it's going to be so close. Come on, power, 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 power. Did we do it? Did we do it? Did we do it? Come on. Oh, man. Two temps away. Two temps away from a podium finish. Never mind. It was an absolute blast of a race. And it really brought a new feeling down to car control. Because these cars handled so weirdly. And it's totally out of my comfort zone. And I'm thoroughly enjoyed it.